Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve question number 6, part 1 from exercise 7.1, chapter 7, coordinate geometry. In my previous videos, I have completed the distance formula, examples 1 to 5, and questions 1 to 5 from the same exercise. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below. So now quickly, let us begin with the video. Question number 6 from exercise 7.1, chapter 7, coordinate geometry says, Name the type of quadrilateral formed by the following points and give reasons for your answers. So there are three parts of the questions given here. So before solving this problem, let us know what is a quadrilateral. A quadrilateral is a four-sided figure which is formed by four vertices. So here in the question, they have given us four points or four vertices and we have to determine which type of quadrilateral is formed by these four vertices. So there are four kinds of quadrilaterals whose properties we should know before solving these kinds of problems. So let us name this quadrilateral as A, B, C, and D. So the first type of quadrilateral is a square. If in a quadrilateral all the four sides are equal and also the diagonals are equal then we can say that a quadrilateral forms a square. So this kind of problem we have already solved in a previous video that is question number five. So therefore in a square all the four sides are equal that is AB is equal to BC is equal to CD and equal to AD and also the diagonals AC will be equal to BD. Likewise, the second type of quadrilateral is a rhombus. In a rhombus, all the four sides will be equal. If we name this rhombus as ABCD, here all the four sides that is AB is equal to BC, equal to CD and equal to AD, but the diagonals will not be equal. So here the diagonals AC will not be equal to BD. Then we can say that a quadrilateral formed is a rhombus. This is the only difference between a square and a rhombus because in both square and rhombus all the four sides are equal whereas in a square the diagonals are equal but in a rhombus the diagonals are not equal. The third type of a quadrilateral is a rectangle. As you all know a rectangle has opposite sides equal. So if we name this rectangle as A, B, C and D then the opposite sides that is AB is equal to CD and BC is equal to AD and also the diagonals will be equal in a rectangle. So here the diagonal AC will be equal to BD. The fourth type of a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. In a parallelogram opposite sides are parallel and the opposite sides will be equal. That is if we name this parallelogram as ABCD then AB will be equal to CD and BC will be equal to AD. AB is equal to CD and BC is equal to AD whereas the diagonals AC and BD will not be equal in a parallelogram like in a rhombus. So this is the major difference between a rectangle and a parallelogram. So these are the four kinds of quadrilaterals you should know before solving such kinds of problem. Now coming back to the question, let us find out the sides and the diagonals of the quadrilateral by applying the distance formula and then we can determine that which type of quadrilateral will be formed. So coming to the question number one, let us assume the four points given as point A, B, C and D. So let point A b minus 1 comma minus 2 point b b 1 comma 0 point c b minus 1 comma 2 and point d b minus 3 comma 0 so let me write down the distance formula first which is given by square root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. The procedure is same in all the problems like how you apply the distance formula assuming given two points to be x1 y1 and x2 y2. Let us find out the first side here that is 
AB by applying the distance formula. So to find out the side AB, let us assume here point A to be x1, y1. Okay, so let point A be x1, y1 and point B be x2, y2. So by distance formula, AB is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 here x2 is 1 and x1 is minus 1 so this will be 1 minus of minus 1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 here y2 is 0 minus of minus y1 so 0 minus of minus y1 the whole square so what will be minus into minus it will become plus so 1 plus 1 will be 2 square plus again here minus into minus will become plus so this is again 2 square so what is square root of 2 square plus 2 square it is 4 plus 4 that is nothing but root 8 so let us factorize 8 and find out its factors so 2 4 za 8 2 2 za 4 and 2 1 za so root 8 can be written as square root of 2 into 2 into 2 here pairing of number 2 is done once so this 2 comes out of the square root so root 8 will become 2 root 2 we got the side ab as equal to 2 root 2 similarly let us find out the side bc so to find out the side bc let us assume point b to be x1 y1 and let point c given by minus 1 comma minus 2 be x2 y2 so applying the distance formula to bc that is square root of x2 minus x1 so it is x2 is minus 1 minus of x1 is 1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 here y2 is 2 and y1 is 0 so 2 minus 0 the whole square is equal to square root of minus 1 and minus 1 will add up to become minus 2 the whole square plus 2 square so what is square of a negative number will be positive so minus 2 square will be 4 plus 2 square is again 4 so it is root 8 so that is nothing but again equal to 2 root 2 again here we got the side bc as equal to 2 root 2 now similarly let us find out the side cd so to find out the side cd let us assume point c to be x1 y1 and point d b x2 y2 c d is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 here it is minus 3 minus of minus 1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 is 0 minus 2 the whole square so this will be square root of what is minus into minus it will become plus so minus 3 plus 1 will be minus 2 the whole square plus 0 minus 2 is again minus 2 the whole square so square of any negative number is positive so minus 2 square is 4 plus minus 2 square is also 4 that is again equal to root 8 that is nothing but 2 root 2 so therefore the side cd is also equal to 2 root 2 now similarly let us find out the fourth side that is ad ad is equal to to find ad let us assume point a that is minus 1 comma minus 2 to be x1 y1 and point d given by minus 3 comma 0 to be x2 y2 so distance ad is given by square root of x2 minus x1 here x2 is minus 3 minus of x1 is minus 1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 is 0 minus of minus 2 the whole square that is equal to square root of minus 3 minus into minus will become plus 1 the whole square plus again we have 0 minus into minus will become plus so it is 2 square right so this will be minus 3 plus 1 is how much minus 2 the whole square so square of negative number will be positive so it is 2 square will be 4 plus 4 that is equal to root 8 therefore again the side ad is also equal to 2 root 2 right so we got all the four sides that is ab bc cd and ad 
equal to two root two. All the four sides are equal, so either it can be a square or rhombus. So now let us find out whether the diagonals are equal or not. If the diagonals are also equal, then it will form a square. Otherwise, it will be a rhombus, right? So the let us find out the diagonals. That is AC and BD now. So again, to find out the diagonal AC, let us assume point A to be x1, y1, and point C to be x2, y2. Right. So again, applying the distance formula to find out the diagonal AC, it is square root of x2 minus x1. X2 is minus 1 minus of minus 1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1. Here y2 is 2 minus of minus 2 the whole square right so this will be square root of minus into minus will become plus so this will be minus 1 plus 1 the whole square plus then we have minus into minus it will become plus so it will be 2 plus 2 the whole square so here minus 1 and plus 1 will become 0 so 0 square is again 0 here 2 plus 2 is 4 4 square here square and square root term will get cancelled and we will be left with AC equal to 4. So similarly, let us find out the diagonal BD. Let us assume here point B to be x1, y1 and point D given to be x2, y2. So applying the distance formula to find out the diagonal BD square root of x2 minus x1. Here x2 is minus 3 minus of x1 plus y2 minus y1. y2 is 0 minus of y1 is also 0 the whole square. So therefore square root of what is minus 3 and minus 4 we have to add with a minus sign plus 0 minus 0 will be 0. Okay so here again square of a negative number will be positive so minus 4 the whole square is square root of 16 that is nothing but equal to 4. The, again we got the second diagonal BD is also equal to 4. So here we can observe that all the four sides of a quadrilateral are equal and also the diagonal AC is equal to BD. Therefore, the type of quadrilateral formed here will be square. So write down since all the four sides AB is equal to BC is equal to CD and that is equal to AD and also the diagonals AC is equal to BD. Therefore, we can say that the type of quadrilateral formed is a square. So similarly, let us solve part 2 and part 3 of this question. If you have any further doubts, do comment me below in the comment section. In my next video, I'll be solving second part of the question number 6 from exercise 7.1, chapter 7, coordinate geometry. So till then, do like my video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as I'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th SLC and cert math. And also do watch the related videos of chapter 7, coordinate geometry shown on the screen. Thank you.